I know Chiggs is in here recording this. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Ricky Rose has had enough and he wants to show Tia Kemp his baby mama who's boss. Now, after slandering his name, making accusations that he trash talks a lot of different rappers. If you guys haven't watched that video, make sure you guys go check it out. But Tia Kemp did not stop there. She kept on going on IG Live from her car, making more and more claims about Rick Ross talking shit about other rappers. Here's what she said about Ross and DJ Khaled and also Diddy. I'll talk about everybody, bro. Oh, man, dog, talk about it. Oh, Khaled. Nigga say he tired of you popping up to his house on style. He said he ain't never been in your house. He said you must be stay on the cheap side where Birdman them stay at. I don't even know them they over there. I'm like, what's a what's a cheap side over here on the on the island? It ain't no cheap side. Khaled, stop pulling up to that man house on that golf cart. Diddy, he said you flodge for the gram. You ain't even buy him a golf cart at, uh, as a uh, a housewoman gift. Housewoman gift. <laughs> Nigga bought that nigga golf cart for a housewoman gift and kept it. Bitch, I'm fucking done. Accusations. These are not accusations. This is false accusations. And now Tia Kemp has also been on a war path of destruction. She's also been trash talking Christina Mackey, which is Rick Ross's new chick right now. Obviously, there's jealousy involved. Watching a woman take your spot is definitely gonna pain you and rub you the wrong way. Especially when these baby mamas do not have a job. They literally have all day to stalk you and comment on the things that you're doing and who you're dealing with. What I should cook for dinner that the hoes don't know how to make? Y'all know damn well y'all see my finster. <laughs> bitch blocked me on my real page. <laughs> that Tweety Bird looking hoe. I don't give a fuck about a bitch. That hoe ain't talking about me. She talking about his other 40 some year old hoes. He got 15 hoes. She know that. He got 10 churn. Two of them probably not even a month old. And 15 hoes. She can't be talking about this 40 some year old hoe. I go over there and slap that hoe in her mouth. Tell her come to the front gate. <laughs> bitch know my page. That hoe better come to my page. Tell her I'm block me. That hoe blocked me the first few days she was riding talking slick. And y'all DM me on her live and she blocked me. Yeah, she look like Tweety Bird. She got a big ass hoe head. Got water. Hydrocephalus. Hydrocephalus. That bitch can't even feed. She can't even make a pot, pot of gaddy or rice for ten churn. But today, Rick Ross said enough is enough. He's tired of the fuckery, tired of Tia Kemp putting his business out there. So he wanted to give her just a little pow pow, just to let her know that I see the fuck shit that you're doing and it's not gonna ruin my energy or anything I got going on over here. Here's Russia's response back to Tia Kemp. Let me get one glass of Luke Bel Air, please. But look, guys, every time you get on TikTok, I know you see a new uh, release from Tia, but listen, we all got to imagine what she's going through. She's going through a lot. Her mother, who's a 30-year reoccurring crack addict, she's back addicted. Tia's dealing with it. She's not living with Tia. Tia say, mom's with the sister that has a job. They don't have the best relationship, but she's helping her mom, and Tia's helping her mom. So that's why you won't see me cut her IG page off or none of that, because... You gotta let her express herself, you know? Let me get this glass of Luke Bella. She she has to express herself, so let's not take any of that personal. Let's wish um, her mother Sabrina the best and just hope, you know, she, she, she fights the addiction and everything else. But to your sister Ebony, she told me about that botch surgery, but you gonna get over it, you gonna heal. I ain't gonna lie, we laugh about it a little while. But look, down at that county, take care of them niggas down there, man. Get them niggas some of that wing stop. Get them niggas some wing stop. Come on now. You, you know? Hey, them hoes be going live in the car. Them hoes ain't going live in the house. Oh, can't speak a rich nigga name if you ain't going live in your house with a paint on the wall. Come on now. Y'all want to get Rosé vibing, huh? Yeah, <laughs> You want to get Rosé vibing, ain't it? Come on now. Y'all want to dance, dance. Let's dance. I'm going to the uh, the Miami Heat dinner tonight. The Miami Heat gala. Who thinks 20000 a seat? We going to that thing tonight. Me and Christina going, but... Huh? Tell them Jose better go live in Starbucks. Huh?
Now listen, let's be honest here, right? Some of the things Tia Camp has alleged Raw said about all these rappers, they're a little too specific to not be true. Some of them are just too personal and also too random for Tia Camp to just pull that out of thin air. Ross also sent her a cease and desist, but obviously she's refusing to follow those orders. So if you're airing out my personal business and also refusing to shut the fuck up, listen man, I might gotta get at your moms. I'm sorry, I gotta take it there now. How dare you tell Khaled I said he was annoying and to stop popping up at my house. Listen man, once again, stop pillow talking to these women. If you don't have long term plans with them, do not tell them your business because one day they will come out on Instagram and publicly try to expose you. So what you guys think about Rose's response? Did he go too far mentioning her mom? Push comments below, scratch my channel like this video. I'll see you guys later man. Hey guys, shop with my boy Chick Smooth at chicksmooth.shop.